In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Pixel Watch 3 and connect it to an Android phone. Now I am going to demonstrate with a Pixel Watch in this video, but if you have a different Android phone, the steps should be similar. So first we need to turn on our watch, and to do that we're going to find this button that sticks out, and we're going to press and hold until we see the Google logo. So I'm going to press and hold, and I'm going to keep holding, and now I see the Google logo so I can let go. Now I'm going to let this watch go through its little startup process here, and over here on the phone I'm going to let you know that two things you need to check on. So if we pull down from the top of our screen, and we pull down again, um, you should have a Bluetooth setting here, and it should say that Bluetooth is on. If not, you will want to tap to enable Bluetooth. You also want to have some sort of internet, either Wi-Fi or a data connection because you do need internet in order to set up the Pixel Watch 3. So the Pixel Watch 3 is now going through its little setup process, and I'm hoping that a little um, icon here is going to pop up on the phone's screen, and it'll kind of be a shortcut way to set up the watch. And <laughs> indeed, there it is. We've got a little chime on our watch, and as long as your phone and watch are next to each other like this, um, you should be able to get this little connect icon here. So it says Pixel Watch 3, set up this device. I'm going to go ahead and tap here on connect. So it says it's connecting to my watch. Now we have uh, numbers that are the same on the watch and the phone, so I'm going to go ahead and tap confirm. And it says that it is connecting to my watch, and this could take a moment. So I'm just going to wait until the next thing comes up. All right, so now we need to sign in to a Google account. If you don't have a Google account or don't want to create one, you cannot use this watch. So go ahead and tap sign in. And here, if it has already found a Google account on your phone, it should be listed here. If you have multiple, you might have a little drop down here so you can select which Google account you would like to associate with your watch. So once you have selected your Google account, go ahead and tap continue. So now it is asking to copy to your watch, copy your Google accounts to your watch. I guess I'll go ahead and say copy. And it now wants me to unlock, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock with my fingerprint. And now it's signing in to my Google account. This could take about a minute. All right, so we have some Google Terms of Service, and it looks like... We have usage and diagnostic reports, so if you want to agree to that, you can leave that checked. If you would rather not, you can tap this little check mark to uh, decline that. Um, you can also allow location. If you would rather not do that, you can again uncheck that, but I would highly recommend leaving this checked if you're going to do any kind of GPS-based workouts that you would like location turned on for because this will be required for that. But you can always turn this on in the future if you'd rather not turn it on now. It's also required if you want to get weather on your phone as well. Um, looks like we also have some settings to automatically back up our data. And if you would rather not do that, you could again uncheck, but I'll go ahead and leave that checked. And you are agreeing to Google's device arbitration agreement, Google Assistant Disclosure, an additional notice, and a Find My Device notice. So if you agree to all of that, you can go ahead and tap I agree. And now it says it's connecting, and again, this could take about a minute. All right, so it says we have a limited warranty for our device. Um, you can also look at it at this location, and you can scroll here to find your country to read your limited warranty. Uh, so this is USA's limited warranty, and I'll go ahead and say continue. So now it's getting my account info. I can restore from a backup. Uh, I do have a Google Pixel Watch 2 connected to this account, or I can say don't restore and set this up as a new watch. So I'm going to go ahead and say don't restore for now. And we can set our watch orientation. So the way the watch comes is with the crown button on the right side. Um, so you can decide which wrist you're going to wear it on, left or right wrist, and which direction you would like to have the crown on. So I'm actually going to have the crown on the left side. 
And so you can he see here that the icon here, or the image, moved this over, and now my display has been flipped so that it can properly have the button on the left side. So I'm going to choose that. You can make your selections here. And I'm going to go ahead and tap continue. And it says you can elevate your well-being with Google Fitbit, get health and wellness features when you connect your watch to the Fitbit app. So if you want to do this now, you can go ahead and tap continue. If you're not sure if you want to use Fitbit with your watch, you can tap not now and you can always set this up later. But if you want to do sleep tracking or use Fitbit's exercise tracking and things like that, you will need to set that up now. So I'm going to go ahead and say continue. And there are some running features here on the Pixel Watch 3. You can read through that if you would like. Otherwise, you can tap next. And you can enhance recovery by tracking sleep and stress. Go ahead and tap next. And some smart planning your workouts. So go ahead and tap next. And ready to connect your watch to Fitbit. So I guess it's kind of just showing um, what you can do with Fitbit. So it looks like the new cardio load and daily readiness score are required to have the Fitbit app. So if you want those things, go ahead and tap open Fitbit. All right, so this is what I was wondering. So Fitbit um, does not allow you to have multiple smartwatches on your, connected to your account at the same time, unfortunately. So it says that another Google Pixel Watch 2 is connected to my account. Replacing will remove the current watch. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and have to say replace with Google Pixel Watch if I want to use my Pixel Watch 3. So you cannot use a Pixel Watch 3 with any other Pixel Watch that you may have previously, unfortunately. All right, so it's asking to connect Google Pixel Watch 3 to the Fitbit app. And I'm going to go ahead and say I agree. So it's connecting to my watch. It says my Fitbit account is connected. All right, you're ready to track your exercise, heart rate, sleep, and other activity in the Fitbit app. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Done. And it says my Google Pixel Watch 3 comes with a six-month Fitbit Premium membership. You can get some other things. Um, but if you don't want to do this, you can go ahead and tap on not now and there will be other ways to get that free trial if you want to do that in the future but for now i'm going to go ahead and tap not now all right you ready to use fitbit on your watch so this is where it gets a little tricky you have the fitbit app to track your health where you'll track your exercise heart rate sleep and other activity and then you'll have the google watch app to manage your device change watch faces and get updates so I'll go ahead and tap continue. And here it's just telling us about some of the safety features. Mm, interesting. <laughs> okay, so you have SOS. You can quickly call emergency contacts or emergency services with emergency SOS. Your watch can call for help if it detects you've had a hard fall or severe car crash event. You can set a safety check or start emergency sharing to stay connected to loved ones. And there's even more in the personal safety app. Okay, I'll go ahead and tap continue. And here we're getting a prompt to set up Google Assistant. So um, you can talk to your assistant with Hey Google, which is your voice. You can set timers, ask questions, track your fitness goal, and do more hands-free. So I'm going to go ahead and say not now because I Mm, well, let's go ahead and say set up and see what happens. I don't want Hey Google to be, there we go, okay. So access your assistant with Hey Google. I don't really recommend doing this. I would rather just press a button to start it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say skip. All right, so now Google Assistant is set up. You just have to press and hold the side button to talk to your assistant. If you want to talk to it hands-free, you can turn on Hey Google in your assistant has settings, but I will note that people have um, said that that drains battery quite quickly because it's always listening for Hey Google. So this is good. I have assistant set up without Hey Google. I'm going to go ahead and tap next. All right, you can set a lock for your watch. On your watch, set a pin or pattern to keep it secure. Your watch will automatically lock when you take it off. So if you want to choose one of these, you can. If you'd rather not have a lock for your watch, you can go ahead and skip. 
If you do set up Google Wallet, I do believe a lock will be required, but you can set that up then at that time. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say skip. And as I alluded to, um, you can add Google Wallet to your watch here. Uh, I'll probably do a separate video showing how to set up Google Wallet. I'd rather not do that right now in this video. So if you wanna set up Google Wallet now, you can click set up and go through that process now. Um, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and tap not now. And you can select apps for your watch. Find more apps on the Play Store and install them from your phone or watch. Again, if you wanna do that now, you can tap set up. I'm gonna do that later, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap not now. All right, so it says setup is complete on my watch. And we have a nice little chime. And it says your watch is ready. Go ahead and wear your watch. If it needs a quick restart, don't worry, it'll be back soon. So it looks like it might be doing something on the watch here. I'll go ahead and tap done here on the phone. All right. So on, on the watch here, it said something about navigating. So let's review some navigation basics. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. So we swipe up for our notifications. And we swipe down for quick settings. Okay, and we swipe left or right to cycle through your tiles. All right, so it looks like we have Google Maps there, and steps there, and heart rate, and so forth and so on. All right, tiles are accessed from the watch face and show helpful info from your apps, okay? You can press the crown to go back to the watch face. And from the watch face, you can press the crown for apps. All right, so press the side button to see your recently used apps. So there's a little button down here. And those are the recent apps. All right, we've got another little chime and time to explore your watch. So it looks like I have completed the setup process. I will probably do another video showing maybe what the first things you should do to customize your watch is. If I haven't done that yet, leave me a comment below to let me know you would be interested to see that video. Otherwise, if this video helped you, could you please go to thumbs up below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Pixel Watch 3 videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.